welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast, the only podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every Medal of Honor recipient. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode number 212 and takes place during the Vietnam War. And now, a tale of honor. John was born on the 1st of February 1938 in Caledonia, Arkansas, and had enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps in Little Rock at the age of 15 years old. It was his actions 15 years later in the Republic of Vietnam that would originally earn him the Navy Cross. The upgraded citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, in action against the enemy while serving as Company Gunnery Sergeant, Company A, 1st Battalion, 1st Marines, 1st Marine Division, from 31 January to 6 February 1968 in the Republic of Vietnam. Company A fought off multiple vicious attacks as it rapidly moved along the highway toward Hue City to relieve friendly forces that were surrounded by enemy forces. Despite being wounded in these engagements, Gunnery Sergeant Canley repeatedly rushed across fire-swept terrain to carry his wounded Marines to safety. After his commanding officer was severely wounded, Gunnery Sergeant Canley took command and led the company into Hue City. At Hue City, caught in deadly crossfire from enemy machine gun positions, he sent up a base of fire and maneuvered with a platoon in a flanking attack that eliminated several enemy positions. Retaining command of the company for three days, he led attacks against multiple enemy fortified positions while routinely braving enemy fire to carry wounded marines to safety. On 4 February, he led a group of marines into an enemy-occupied building in Hue City. He moved into the open to draw fire, located the enemy, eliminated the threat, and expanded the company's hold on the building room by room. Gunnery Sergeant Canley then gained position above the enemy strongpoint and dropped in a large satchel charge that forced the enemy to withdraw. On 6 February, during a fierce firefight at a hospital compound, Gunnery Sergeant Canley twice scaled a wall in full view of the enemy to carry wounded Marines to safety. By his undaunted courage, selfless sacrifice, and unwavering devotion to duty, Gunnery Sergeant Canley reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. John continued to serve in the Marine Corps, reaching the rank of Sergeant Major before retiring after 28 years on the 23rd of October, 1981. Thirty-five years later, a bill was sponsored to have John's Navy Cross upgraded to the Medal of Honor, and on the 21st of December, 2017, the five-year time limit was waived. Secretary of Defense, retired Marine General James Mattis, recommended the upgrade to President Trump, and the upgrade was approved in July of 2018. John L. Canley received the Medal of Honor from President Trump on the 17th of October, 2018, in a ceremony at the White House. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Please head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com for more information, other ways to listen and support the podcast, and please be sure to leave a good rating and a nice review wherever it is that you are listening. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them on over to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. <laughs>